Now, the most accurate weather team in Florida, ABC Action Weather. How you doing, everybody? More scattered showers and storms, although the timing over the next several days will be more later afternoon, early evening. And I think the heaviest weather will end up being over on the east side of the state. But still, even on Tuesday afternoon and early evening, we had some pretty powerful storms develop along the coast and move into Sarasota and Manatee County, eventually into Hillsborough and Polk. So the way you plan your days over the next three or four days, the mornings should be mostly dry. Can't rule out an isolated shower or two. But I still think, given the fact that that low is off to our west and pulling away, most of our mornings will be dry, but you give the heating of the day and you see more storms develop late afternoon. Same setup on Thursday, quiet in the morning and a little stormier in the afternoon with most of the heavier weather pushing off to the east of I-75 in the afternoon hours. In terms of tropical development, well, as we've been talking about, we're still watching this area off to the west. Development really not anticipated. It's just a rainmaker for us and a decent rainmaker at that with rainfall totals up to two inches across part of the area by Saturday into Sunday. Florida's most accurate seven day forecast rain chances. We're keeping it solid at 60%. Not so much in the morning, most of it afternoon and evening, and I still think the heaviest rains will fall east of I-75. It continues into the weekend, and in fact, it continues into early next week.